so welcome back standard 12 derivatives this is the 27th lecture class 12 exercise 1.3 in that question 3 let me check whether it is in your on your screen you can see or not now hope that you can see it find dy by dx this is a very simple sum differentiating with respect to x that you will write d by dx of root x plus d by dx of root y is equal to d by dx of root a therefore derivative of root is 1 upon 2 root and what is that x plus derivative of root is 1 upon 2 root what is that y and the derivative of y is dy by dx is equal to derivative of root a it is 1 upon 2 root a am i right no this is totally wrong y a is a constant so derivative of a constant is zero this mistake generally the general students does so derivative of root a means it is a constant so root a derivative will be zero therefore this i will shift there so here it will be 1 upon 2 root y dy by dx this will become minus 1 upon 2 root x now this is upon there it will become into therefore dy by dx is equal to 2 root y upon 2 root x and it is minus this gets cancelled and this is equal to root of y upon x this is dy by dx so hope that you have understood this this was a simple sum some different sum we will take the third one third is x plus root of x y plus y equal to one. This is the implicit function. This also was an implicit function. It was not given y equal to something. That's why it is implicit. So differentiating with respect to x, we get d by dx of x plus d by dx. Of root of x y plus d by d x of y and is equal to d by d x of one. Therefore, d by d x of x is one plus. d by dx of root is 1 upon 2 root in root it is xy now the derivative of root we have taken now these are two functions it is e into v i have to take the derivative of this also e into d by dx of xy plus d by dx of y plus dy by dx That is equal to derivative of one zero. Hope that you understand it well now. Therefore, this one I will shift there. I don't want it here. So one upon two root of x y into derivative of this. This is into v y as it is d by d x of x plus. x as it is and d by dx of y means dy by dx this e into v is completed plus dy by dx is equal to this one i have taken there it has become minus 1 therefore so this i will multiply first of all find the derivative and i will multiply and then separately dy by dx 
So this will be 1 upon 2 root xy y into 1 derivative of x plus x into dy by dx plus dy by dx is equal to minus 1. Therefore, now multiply this. So y upon 2 root xy. Hope that you have understood this. y into 1 is y. Now this to this plus x dy by dx upon 2 root xy plus dy by dx. Here the sign is into is equal to minus 1. Now observe this, this I can write as root y into root y. And this is upon root y. That one root y will get cancelled and above it will be root y upon 2 root of x. This will get cancelled. I will explain to here. This y I will write as root y into root y. This y upon 2 root of x into root of y. And this y y get cancelled. This way it will remain. So hope that you have understood it. <laughs> Similarly, this will be plus root of x upon 2 root y dy by dx plus dy by dx equal to minus 1. Now from this dy by dx I will take common. This also I will shift there. So dy by dx is taken common and here what remains is root of x upon 2 root y plus 1. Have you understood this? And here it is minus 1. This also I am shifting there. It will be minus root of y upon 2 root of x. So I have to shift this. But this doesn't have the common denominator. So I will simplify it. And then I can shift. Therefore, dy by dx. This will be root of x plus 2 root y. See this cross multiplication upon 2 root y is equal to this also this minus I will take here and do the cross multiplication 2 root x plus root y this minus is taken out that's why it will be plus upon 2 root x. But our interest is in dy by dx. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to this is into here it is into it will be upon so it will go up and this will come down. So, dy by dx is equal to this is minus 2 root x plus root y upon 2 root x and that will be brought here this much part this will be 2 root y will go up upon this will come down root of x plus 2 root y so hope that you have understood this so it is like this Now, this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. This will remain. So, dy by dx is equal to minus 2 root x plus root y into root y upon root x into root x plus 2 root y. Now, do the multiplication. 
simplification is possible. So minus is here, 2 root x into root y. So that will be 2 root x y plus. Now this into this is y upon this into this is x plus this will be 2 root x y. So you can change the sequence or if you want you can uh, keep as it is minus y plus 2 root x y upon x plus 2 root x y this is your divided by dx. So that was not a very difficult sum but a, a lengthy work. So I am rubbing this. This was uh, the third one. I kept it one. Uh, no, it is not one. It was the third one. Third example it was. If you need take a screenshot, I am rubbing it. Let me see what time is lapsed in this. So, the eighth one I wish to do. Cos of xy. is equal to x plus y. Derivative of cos is sin differentiating. So minus sin of xy. Now into d by dx of xy. Is equal to d by dx of, oh sorry I have not written the first step d by dx of cos of xy is equal to d by dx of x plus dy by dx and here the derivative of this. Derivative of cos is differentiating you right, differentiating. Derivative of cos is minus sin of xy is equal to derivative of x is 1. So uh, one thing remain. Derivative of cos is minus sign. Angle is xy. It is other than x. That therefore d by dx of xy by the chain rule we have to do. The derivative of x is 1 plus dy by dx. dy by dx I want here. So I will bring it here. Minus sign of xy into u into v y as it is d by dx of x plus x as it is and dy by dx minus the dy by dx brought here and here it is 1. Therefore, I will multiply this after taking the derivative minus sine of xy into y into 1 plus x dy by dx minus dy by dx is equal to 1. Therefore, now I will multiply. This will be minus y sine of xy. This multiplicator. Minus x sine of xy into dy by dx minus dy by dx is equal to 1. Therefore, I am interested in dy by dx. This part I will take it there. So, 
From this I will take dy by dx common. So dy by dx is taken common. What is remaining here is minus x sine of xy minus 1. Hope that you understand this. If I take minus sign, then it will be minus dy by dx. This will be plus, this will be plus. Hope that you understand it. That is equal to 1. Now this part I am shifting there plus y into sine of xy. Therefore, minus dy by dx is equal to 1 plus y sine xy. This part will become upon 1 plus x sine of xy. This is minus, so I will change the signs. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to this is minus here 1 plus y sine of xy upon 1 plus x sine of xy. So this will be your final answer for this question. So hope that um, this is uh, easy for you. Uh, the fifth one also I need to explain because uh, something uh, that is a different from other than the others. The fifth sum is like this. x square y square minus tan inverse of root of x square plus y square is equal to quad inverse of under root of x square plus y square. Therefore, the first step will be x square y square is equal to quad inverse of under root x square plus y square plus tan inverse of under root x square plus y square. Sin inverse plus cos inverse is equal to pi by 2. Tan inverse plus quad inverse is equal to pi by 2. See, sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Similarly, sec inverse plus cosec inverse is also pi by 2. Why this is? This is the right angle triangle. This is theta. Sin theta will be this upon this. Cos theta will be this upon this. And the addition of these two angles is always 90. So, that is sin inverse x plus cos inverse x will be pi by 2. Similarly, tan inverse plus cot inverse is equal to pi by 2. Therefore, x square y square is equal to pi by 2. Now take the derivative differentiating e into v y square as it is d by dx of x square plus x square as it is and d by dx of y square is equal to d by dx of pi by 2. Pi by 2 is constant, derivative will be 0. Therefore, y square into 2x plus x square into 2y and derivative of y divided by dx is equal to 0. Therefore, divide by 2 so this will be x y square plus x square y dy by dx is equal to 0 dv by 2. dv by 2. 
therefore now keep this so x square y divided by dx is equal to x y square and this will become minus minus x y square therefore but interest is in dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to minus x y square upon x square y so that is equal to minus 1 y will remain in the numerator and 1 x will be remaining in the denominator minus y upon x this is x into x 1 x will get cancelled this is y into y 1 y will get cancelled and the answer will be minus y upon x hope that you have understood uh, so we will go in the next video afterwards so uh, by that time good day to you all or good night whatever the time at time you are seeing so we will uh, meet in the next video video number 28 only my request is keep your speed with me